LG G Styler Beast Mode User HD here, and today I'm doing a video on the Samsung Galaxy J3 2016 for Verge Mobile USA. Uh, I'm on their website here, and the phone got launched today, January 15, 2016. So the phone's new, as you guys can see, there's new reviews, and it's one dollars 99 for the J3. Um, so you know, yeah. So those are the uh, phone guys. Um, and the in this little paragraph it says, packed with essentials, the Samsung Galaxy J3 2016 has all you need to do everything you want. Connect with friends and surf the web on a vibrant 5-inch HD display. Listen, watch, and game on the go with expandable memory up to 128 gigabytes, and get everything quickly with easy mode. Uh, this is the phone guys. I'm sure you guys more pictures over here. Give it a second to load. Oh, uh, there's the front of the phone guys. As you guys can see, that it has the Samsung uh, TouchWiz interface. So you guys can see it has the uh, back button, the home button, and the recent applications button. And it has the Samsung uh, TouchWiz interface on there. It has the phone and the camera there, the wallpaper. Uh, see, it has a front facing camera. That's the side of it there. There's the front and side there. Uh, power buttons on the left, and your, I mean, your volume buttons are on the left, and your power buttons on the right, and your headphone jack and noise cancellation mic are on top, and your, uh, USB ports on the bottom. That's front and back. It, uh, it, it looks like a champagne gold. It looks like a goldish. Galaxy J3 here, it, which is, it looks nice, you know, not bad for a Samsung phone, it looks very nice, this, this is probably what the Galaxy 7 is probably going to look like, something like this, uh, but it kind of looks like a rolled gold, maybe a champagne gold color, uh, it's not metal, it's plastic, so um, it looks like metal, but it's actually plastic, because the gold gives it like a shiny feel to it, so it, it looks like a champagne gold color in my opinion. Which gives the phone some class, in my opinion. You know, it looks like a nice phone. It has all uh, great specs on it for $180. Uh, this phone got released today, the Virgin Mobile, January 15th. So, yeah, um, let's go see what the specs are, man. Uh, it has Android 5.1 Lollipop, features a colorful and responsive UI design. The, this version of Android delivers a smoother and more powerful experience. Uh, you get a 5 megapixel rear facing camera and 2 megapixel front facing camera. Capture vivid pics and clips using the 5 megapixel rear camera. Snap amazing selfies when using the 2 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, you got you got a flash of course and uh, poly the video uh, resolutions on both cameras are at 720p HD max. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm because you. I'm, I think the max video resolution is 720p HD. Um, so, just keep that in mind, guys. 720p video is not that bad. Um, it has enhanced LTE, 4G LTE, and 3G, of course. Fast streaming, surfing, and downloading. Enjoy blazing 4G LTE speeds. We're available while on the nationwide Sprint 4G LTE network. So, that's good. You, you get Sprint Spark on here. It has a 1.2 gigahertz. Quad core processor, surf the web, launch apps, play games, and multitask with some serious speed. I think the chipset is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 210 64-bit processor. I think it's Snapdragon 210, uh, which is interesting. Um, you get mobile hotspot on the Galaxy J3, of course. Um, it's daily and monthly hotspot plans, and the hotspot plans are fucking garbage. Um, if you guys want to get my uh rant on the mobile hotspot for boosting version. I'll put a link to that in the description box video. That would be the uh, second link in the video description, so check that out. I'll take you guys to my rant video. Uh, it's a 30 minute rant, and I talk about the hotspot. I talk about don't get it because it's garbage and whatnot. Um, so it's like five dollars a month for one gigabyte, ten dollars a month for two gigabytes of hotspot data, and three dollars a day for 500 megabytes of hotspot data. Don't get the hotspot. It's not worth getting. Uh, you can root the phone and get free hotspot that way by rooting. Um, but, you know, their hotspot plans are fucking ridiculous, and I did a rant video on that last year, and that will be in the stress box video, so if you guys want to check it out, go right ahead, but keep in mind, it's a 30 minute rant, because, you know, 
that said this pissed me off. But anyways, back to the specs. It has a 5 inch HD Super AMOLED display. A uh, 5 inch 720p HD AMOLED display, which is, isn't bad for $180 fan and prepaid, which is pretty surprisingly because uh, when I had the Galaxy V Raven Virgin Mobile, there was no AMOLED on that song, but it was a TFT display on the Galaxy V Raven Virgin Mobile. Um, and this one has a uh, AMOLED display. Um, 294 ppi on the pixel density there it says the big beautiful hd display is perfect for your videos games and work and sharing your screen with friends um expandable memory of course you guys know that it has an sd card slot uh slip in slip in a micro sd hc card it's so separate of course to add up to 128 gigabytes of extra storage for videos music apps and more uh, it has a 2600 milliamp hour battery. You guys can remove the battery if you guys want to enjoy up to 22 hours of talk time thanks to the 26 milliamp lithium ion battery. As HD voice, of course, um, which is uh, which is uh, available on Sprint phones, Verge mobile phones, and Boost mobile phones, and on all that. It says HD voice brings you more natural and better sounding calls. Noise cancellation technology provides crystal clear. Conversations, even if you're talking on a city street or in a crowded restaurant. So, there you go. And here are some more uh, specs, guys Bluetooth 4.1, which is good. SD card slot up to 128 GB. Wi Fi. Um, enable, guys, and I'll do that. Apps and social networking, of course. I already saying this up HD voice, micro USB 2.0. Visible voicemail, which you guys can uh, get that. I think it's like five or ten dollars a month for visible voicemail. Um, so that's cool. Um, which it, it's kind of not worth getting it though. We got messaging, of course, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. All your standard stuff there. Here are more specification, guys. Like I said before, it has 5.1 lollipop. Uh, this phone might get 6.0 marshmallow. We'll see because my guy, because my uh, LG G Style from Boost Mobile has it. Right now, and um, yeah, so and I'm rocking, I'm rocking 6.0 on my G Style right now. Um, this thing might get 6.0 in the future, we'll see. Um, it weighs 4.94 ounces, like I told you, it has this MLED display, 2600 million power battery. You can move the battery, so that's good. And 22 hours of talk time, 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor. I think it's not dragging 210 from Qualcomm there. Uh, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of memory, which is pretty damn good. Uh, you get about 10 gigabytes available to the user, so that's pretty damn good. Not bad for a hundred for a hundred and eight dollar phone. That's pretty damn good. So you get 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, so that should help a little bit there. Um, you get Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.1, like I said. So, you know, has good specs on this phone, man. Uh, I would I would have wished I would stuck like an 8 megapixel camera on here. But what you get in the box is the Galaxy J3 phone, of course. Uh, present materials like the uh, manuals and shit. Uh, charging and USB 2.0 cable. And SIM card installed. Uh, it's the UICC card. Uh, it's for you to get LTE uh, connectivity on data. Uh, you can't put that card in any in any other phone because it may not work. So just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, man. This Phone man, it looks very nice. It looks like it's like a champagne gold color. The camera does stick out a little bit there. If you guys could see that little camera bump on the back of the phone there. So, not too bad. Uh, <coughs> but man, this phone looks very nice. And like I said, it has great specs on it. $480 on prepaid. 16 gigabytes of memory, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Not too bad. Uh, the this probably the sad thing about it is it has a five megapixel rear facing camera. It should at least have eight megapixels on the front. I mean eight megapixels on the back and five megapixels on the front. That's what my G Stylo has, eight megapixel rear facing camera and five megapixel front camera with full HD videos. But this Galaxy J three here only has a five megapixel rear facing camera and two megapixel front facing camera. So it is what it is guys, but other than that the phone is it all not too bad there, except for the rear facing camera. It's a bit of a, of a disappointment. Um, so the camera should be uh decent, you know. 
should be decent because my uh, 5 megapixel camera on my Galaxy Reverb was pretty damn good. So, um, that's good news there. Um, they do got good camera software on the Samsung phones there. So, there's LG, but, um, there's the phone, guys. I got released today, January 15th. Um, if you guys on Boost Mobile wondering if, you, if you're getting this phone, yes, we are. We're getting it Monday on Boost Mobile. Got the Galaxy J3 summoned to Boost Mobile on Monday. And I'll do a video on that on Monday when it's on Boost Mobile's website. So, stay tuned for that. If you guys on Boost Mobile right now. But if you guys are on Verizon Mobile right now and you guys want the Samsung Galaxy J3 2016 edition, it's not available as of right now. But once in the 999, it's a great phone, not too bad for a $180 phone. But the camera on the rear is a little disappointing. They should at least stuck 8 megapixels on the back and maybe a 5 megapixel on the front. But it is what it is, guys. Um, so I'm in here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. Peace.